I don't think any of us could have imagined this. Everywhere you go, you see his face, his number. Gigi's face, Gigi's number. Everywhere, at every intersection. There are hundreds of murals painted by artists who were inspired, not because he was a basketball player, but because Kobe was an artist too. And not just in LA, uh, across the country, in Kobe's hometown, Philadelphia, in Italy, in India, the Philippines, China, New York, Phoenix, Boston, for God's sake. <laughs> in places where he would be booed on the court, Kobe is missed. Thank you all so much for being here. It means so much to us. My baby girl. Gianna Bryant is an amazingly sweet and gentle soul. She was always thoughtful. She always kissed me goodnight and kissed me good morning. Her classmates shared many fond memories about Gianna with us, and those stories reminded me that Gianna loved and showed everyone that no act of kindness is ever too small to make a difference in someone's life. She was always, always, always considerate of others and their feelings. She was so full of life and had so much more to offer this world. I cannot imagine life without her. I couldn't see him as a celebrity, nor just an incredible basketball player. He was my sweet husband and the beautiful father of our children. He was mine. He was my everything. Kobe and I have been together since I was 17 and a half years old. I was his first girlfriend, his first love, his wife, his best friend, his confidant, and his protector. He was the most amazing husband. Kobe loved me more than I could ever express or put into words. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Babe, you take care of our Gigi. And I got Nani, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you, Boo Boo and Gigi. May you both rest in peace and have fun in heaven until we meet again one day. We love you both and miss you forever and always. Mommy. Number 24, number eight, and number two. Those are basketball numbers. Those are numbers in the past. Those are numbers that we're not going to get back. What we do have is today how many numbers of kids like Diana have been inspired to do more, to work harder, to strive for more. And the numbers we also don't have is how many numbers of kids in the future, how many women are going to be inspired by Gigi's life, how many fathers are inspired by Kobe to be fathers. Kobe lived to make other people's lives better, all the way up until his final text. The day after Kobe was gone, I was at home and feeling totally lost. I couldn't imagine life without the strength and guidance of my best friend. Kobe's love and passion for this team was the perfect representation of how deeply he loved his daughters. 
At the center of all this was his precious Gigi, whom my wife and I are blessed to be the godparents of. Gigi was love and grace, and like her dad, her life was about blessing, blessing others. In the game of basketball, in life, as a parent, Kobe left nothing in the tank. He left it all on the floor. Maybe it surprised people that Kobe and I were very close friends. But we were very close friends. Kobe was my dear friend. He was like a little brother. And I admired him because his passion, you rarely see someone who's looking and trying to improve each and every day, not just in sports, but as a parent, as a husband. Mamba, you were taken away from us way too soon. Your next chapter of life was just beginning, but now it's time for us to continue your legacy. You said yourself that everything negative, pressure, challenges, is all an opportunity for me to rise. So we now take that sage advice to now rise from anguish and begin with the healing. Just know that we got your back, little brother.